Hi there, this is the third pre-release playthrough of Democracy 3 Africa. Um, we've made some changes and I'm going to kind of like show you some of the stuff that's different. I did get a crash bug a minute ago, so if it crashes I'll just restart it, sod it. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a completely different country, Egypt. Um, Egypt has its problems and it's not so bad things. Right then, so um, with Egypt, GDP not too good, health not too good, um, crime actually not bad at all, but we'll find out why. So the situation here is quite interesting because it shows a new mechanic that we are playing about with and is a bit over the top at the moment, but um, I do like the idea of it. One of the problems we've had with balancing the game for Africa is that some of these countries have real serious problems and the trouble is the core simulation of democracy 3 has kind of a western philosophy to what's important now what i mean by that is for example liberals in democracy 3 will be upset if you don't have art subsidies and stuff like that now if you ha have a, a civil uprising and you have religious persecution and uh, race riots um, military interference hardly any gdp pollution a skills shortage nobody cares about arts funding <laughs> so that's kind of like a higher order demand that will come to you as society improves in the same way that where I live for example p people always complain that their broadband speeds in villages are low and that's true and it's a pain but if there were you know burning buildings and riots outside it wouldn't be in my top hundred list of, of concerns so we kind of modeled that so it looks like there's no liberals and it looks like there's more religious people than you think and this is kind of a symptom of the development status of this country so looks like I don't have to care about liberals but I will later so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start off by making women happy <laughs> uh, because obviously there's loads of them uh, they're not very happy and I think I have a few policies here uh, that's a fairly obvious one and I'm also going to provide childcare. Which is obviously a bit sexist to say that only makes women happy, but um but oh let's not even go down there. Gender representation methods, stuff like this. You notice I'm just throwing stuff out here because I have a lot of political capital. Now the reason I can do this and I have a lot of political capital is because there's just hardly any democracy. So there is this new little variable here, leader political capital, which comes from political power, which is maxed out. And that's maxed out because we have no democracy. There's all these dodgy things that are going on that basically give me a lot more political power. But they have negative effects. So I'm not getting much foreign aid or foreign investment and it's leading to a civil uprising. So as I fix these problems, I'll end up with less political power. So, um, we need to do something about crime. And we appear to be using a fair bit of torture at the moment. <laughs> so, yikes. Um, let's take a more softly, softly approach. Community support officers. Who needs torture? So, also something I, I, I notice is that prisons, I could spend a lot more money on prisons, although I haven't looked at the state of the economy, holy crap, okay, well that's an investment, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And, hmm, well this is, look, women are happy though, or ha happier, actually dramatically happier, which is good. Um, everyone is upset by the civil uprising, which is kind of fair enough. So let's, 
let's dish out some democracy. Um, detention without trial. I'm going to do away with that. Um, what else is press freedom? Press freedom. Yeah, I see no downside to that, apart from the fact that it will weaken my political power. Um, and the death penalty. See, of course, it does reduce violent crime. Or... This is what the simulation contends. Okay, let's not... We can't cancel it with our current level of power, but we'll, we'll go that far. And also, we do. Oh, we need to worry about the economy, obviously. So I think mm, I do like a bit of technology, which will reduce in, in the very long term the number of religious people I have. Um, they'll, they'll be upset about family planning. Um, where is all our money going? Uh, schools and schools all that money is being wasted on schools and hospitals um, <laughs> state pensions are very high and retired people are ecstatic well they would be right and I can't lower it typical lowering pensions always difficult debt protection uh, um, yeah anything to keep the economy going so has anything changed economically it all depends on this. Aha! So you see that stability is going slightly up. As that goes up, that is one of the measures of the, the Human Development Index, I think it is called, which I need to find somewhere. I can't find it. I can't find it. Um, blah, 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 blah. We'll worry about this later. We haven't actually done much for democracy. We, oh, we, we should cancel torture, shouldn't we, frankly? Um, <laughs> should, should, there shouldn't be any agonising over it, should there? I'm going to cancel this as well, corporal punishment news. Of course, what I'm doing is I'm also weakening my own security. So I don't want to upset people too much. I am going to cut pensions, sorry, but you're, we can't afford this kind of luxury going to move ahead a little bit. Oh, that's not good, is it? You notice I've somehow destroyed health. That was quite good when we came in, as I recall. Um, and in case you didn't know, you can always find that out. If you go to change it, um, poverty's up. Uh, yay. <laughs> um, can't see anywhere else where I've really gone wrong maybe uh, maybe that's not true then maybe that's not true actually racial tension is a nightmare and I do need to fix this um, so we can apply a few easy peasy laws should at least outlaw it shouldn't we um, and hmm I think some mild citizenship tests should help with that. Where is civil uprising? It's here. Oh, it got worse again. I can't believe it. Um, right. This is because I did away with all my evil torture stuff, isn't it? We're going to have to compensate by more police with guns. And CCTV cameras, I think. You can't riot when there's CCTV everywhere, maybe. Um, very concerned about this two trillion dollar... Oh, look at my credit rating, is appalling. <sighs> Border tensions. Foreign relations are awful. It's rather worrying. I'm just going to see what happens. Public smoking ban. Kind of hilarious, isn't it? This is what matters. Um, it, uh, can't worry about that now. 
GDP has obviously not moved. Outrageous gender inequality is really? Because everyone's religious and conservative. Right, drastic measures, drastic measures. If in doubt, drastic measures. Um, right, we, we have this skill shortage business. I'm going to educate the crap out of everyone. Get, get thee to a library. And maybe we should maybe do a little bit about corruption, I think. Corruption. Oh, that's going to upset state employees, of course. But they're quite happy anyway. Um, bloody race riots. What else? What, what, what could we... Could we do... Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Tasers are better than guns. I mean, I think it would be fine to give the police tasers. Ubiquitous. Excellent. I'm, I may have to put up corporate taxes or something. And I need productivity, but I can't scrap that at all. Unemployment benefit. I'm going to cut that a bit. I'll spend that money on food stamps, which I think is is more effective. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, I always feel like I've let down my own people. General strike. I mean, holy crap. And it's only just triggered, but now they've gone on strike. Getting them to go back is going to be difficult. Plus, we have some security concerns. I haven't handled the environmentalists well. Um, at least I've got 1.25% of people with me. No one's joined the party. That's to be expected. Maybe we need we need to fix this flipping civil uprising. Aha, aha. Things may be about to go our way. In which case, I think some green moves. Pollution controls. Yes. Uh, fuel efficiency standards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and car emission limits. Greenwash. The trouble is there's a lot of ways to spend more money. Not so many ways to get any. Maybe maybe a car tax. Oh, oh that raises loads of money. Um, well, that raises 10 billion. Deficit is 90 billion. <laughs> oh, God. Socialists and environmentalists hate me. S oh, this is not a good sign. How is the global economy? It's shit. Um, it's not looking good, is it, frankly? Oh, God. The moral crusade hate me. So the conservatives and the socialists and the environmentalists all hate me. And so do women, look. After everything I've done for them, I need to like just push them over the edge. I'm going to actually up maternity leave slightly. And I'm going to check this out. School buses. Oh, yes. Oh, that's parents, isn't it? What am I doing? Um... Free school meals generally considered to be a good measure of fighting poverty. Right, so that's about to go. I think everything's going to turn our way in the next turn. 
Okay, someone tried to kill me, but you know, they failed. Yes. Okay, so we have major signs that we're going, things are going better. Look, everything's going the right way now. All we need to do is just persuade these ungrateful people. Revolutionary Army and the Moral Crusade. So socialists very upset, but frankly, they have no right to be. Um, hmm. It's a typical playthrough of Democracy 3, someone hovering over icons and going, hmm. Um, bit of a debt problem, put it mildly. Um, and a, uh, I bet you our GDP is flatlining, and of course it is ridiculous. Um, general strike, yes, right, okay, so... So... Yeah, so we don't touch that, and clamp down on it, apart from anything. Um, we need to keep the workers happy somehow. Bloody workers. I never did get far with my kind of like bringing democracy to the country. Um, maybe what I should just do is abandon any pretense at democracy. That's probably a good idea. No, I think this wouldn't make things worse. And it might make things better. Um, yeah, we're going to have to, that cut to unemployment benefit might have been a bit, a bit cruel maybe. Um, we're so, we have such a deficit, who cares, frankly. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, who was it this time? Another oh, socialist. Trade unionists and women. Yeah, well, if you don't like it, quit. Um, the Alliance for Progress, that's us. What we have done is we've... We've driven away all the opposition activists, which bodes quite well. And look at that, look at that. If we win the election, it's going to be hilarious. Um, although what sort of a country... Oh, and look at this, how exciting. Look, liberals have emerged. They have emerged like creatures from the ocean. Um, still a lot of religious people. Um, I think in the long run, what I want to do is reduce the amount of religious people in my country. But, uh, it all comes down to the economy. In the economy, the economy, the economy. That's what we need, and we need education and skills. Education, adult, yeah, we're getting there, getting there, getting there. Um, I wonder if a bit of long-term science investment. Look at this, we've got electron microscopes. Yet the country's in chaos. Maybe our schools suck. Shared textbooks. Every child has an electron microscope, but they share textbooks. Only in Democracy 3. Available now. Right. Um, yeah. Excellent. 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 Protest march against gender equality. Against inequality, sorry. I thought I was doing quite well there. Credit rating is a disaster, and now we have mass urbanisation. It's going to up. But this is what I find quite interesting about this game, in, in that we've traded some problems for others as we have kind of like developed. It's actually getting close to the election, and we're going to get hammered, aren't we? Um. So I suspect our economy is, look at that, it's the Harris boom years. Um, we're actually on the right, yes, people could sleep safely at night. Um, 
Unless you're in the ghettos, obviously. <laughs> oh dear, dearie me. So, I would really like to get rid of the death penalty, but, but look now, I don't have as much political capital. You can see here I'm getting no bonus political capital. I only derive power from my ministers, like some sort of Democrat. Um, okay, technology grants are good. I'm going to... Foreign investor tax breaks. I haven't tried that for ages. Let's try that because the Patriots are happy anyway and there's not many of them. We could do with some foreign investment. Um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, well, that's pretty good then. I think maybe a lack of infrastructure is... Um, but then asthma. Yeah, we need to do something about the environment. Clean fuel subsidy. Do we like subsidies? Normally I would have stopped, but I'm so excited at the thought that I... I theoretically, I could... Protesters, you may protest. Um, yeah, because frankly, you're no threat. So, I need to pick a group and run with them. If only I can sort out the asthma epidemic. We don't have any public transport to speak of, and I think it's about time we did. I think it's about time we did. Um, the deficit is now 107 billion. Which is terrifying, but... But we're on the upswing now. So, I, actually, that might not be um, as bad as it sounds. I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, that's good. That's going to give us a boost. L oh, yes. That will give us a big boost. Okay, well, we'll have to, you know, if you can't handle it. Um, capitalists. Trade. Foreign policy. Foreign policy. Conservatives and women. And foreign policy job. Yeah. I'm going to go with you. Um... So I look uh, uh, a little bit of a fool, but actually, I think now. I mean, yeah, the polls are. Oh, it's the next. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, well, if we can get middle income people to vote first. So income tax. I'm just going to cancel income tax the day before the election. And if that's not a vote winner, I don't know what is. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, this is Democracy 3 Africa. Uh, this is Egypt. It's pretty tough. So, um, I was basically a retired patriot. Um, and what did I do for the country? I did good things, apart from CO2. It's ironic. Um, but I did great things. Traffic congestion, that's just a side effect of growth. Um, I gave up so much of my own power for these people. They didn't reward me at all. Um, didn't legalise drugs because, frankly, it wasn't a priority. <laughs> anyway, this is the third playthrough. A bit of a long one. Yikes. But um, this is the third playthrough of Democracy 3 Africa with Egypt. It's not finished yet. It's not balanced yet. But it is on the way. Thanks for watching. <laughs>